of Instagram's biggest so-called influencers actually admits they are on the way out. The fat Jewish, whose real name is Josh Ostrovsky, says it's time to find a real job. And as Chloe Melissetow tells us, well, that's exactly what he did. You have to put hairspray in it or it just stays up? No, although I did BYO hairspray today. Oh, the hair erection is natural normally, but, uh, you know, for special things. Yeah. I like to make sure it doesn't, like, go flaccid at all. Josh Ostrovsky. You probably know him as the fat Jewish. He's notorious for his absurd antics. This is a cardio party. You guys feeling the burn? And he's hugely popular on Instagram with more than 10 million followers. But he's also been at the center of controversy. In 2015, he was accused of plagiarism, stealing jokes and reposting them to his account. Ostrovsky says he was just sharing stuff he thought his followers would like and often didn't even know where the jokes originally came from. He's since promised to attribute his posts. And while you might think of the fat Jewish as the internet's class clown, these days he's focused on something else entirely, rosé. For the large audience, like, you know, you, you know what they want. You're running a huge focus group every day. For younger people, like, if you're going to drink, like, vodka or something, like, you know, you know what brand you want. You walk into a store and you say, like, I want Tito's. I want Grey Goose. I know what I, you know, I know what I drink. But when it came to wine, and specifically rosé at the time, no one could name a rosé. At least not anyone that we knew or not anyone that we would want to, like, hang out with or party with. Wine. David Cohen is Ostrovsky's co-founder. That kind of led us to the question, like, could we be the Tito's or the Grey Goose of rosé or even wine? Ostrovsky, Cohen, and two others founded Swish Beverages in 2015. The popularity of their white girl rosé and babe canned wines caught the attention of Anheuser-Busch, who acquired a minority stake in the company. When they first reached out, we weren't surprised, but that's largely because we specifically like kind of got in their way. Like we always imagine the can to sort of be the beer of wine. It feels like a beer, it's in the occasions of a beer, but it's great, it tastes better, it's more fun, it maybe gets you a little more drunk. You look at the cans, babe rose. You look at the wine, white girl rose. You call yourself the fat Jewish. Some of those things, they're teetering on that line of maybe borderline offensive. People get offended by a lot of things. Our intention has never been to alienate or exclude anyone. It's kind of equal opportunity. Like, I'm making fun of everyone equally. First and foremost, myself. Like, I'm a giant adult infant baby with, like, a erection, you know what I mean? In a pair of, like, real tree overalls. Like, no, I'm calling himself fat in his name. That's what I'm saying. Like, no one is more down to actually, like, to actually roast themselves than me. How bad can you feel about yourself when it's me making fun of you? Like, look at that.